Okay, on this problem, this will be number 13. No. What do we have? We have the lines x equals negative 5 and x equals 4, so uh, those be, let me draw the lines and tell you, okay, that's x equals negative 5, then that would be x equals 4, this would be y equals whatever the lesser y value is, this would be y equals whatever the greater y value is. And this is something you would want to document on your homework, and a lot of times I didn't see it. Maybe because the problem was flawed and you didn't have it, but mm -hmm. I kind of think... Uh, negative six, six and negative three. Did. Okay, anyhow, why is negative six, why is negative three, and you've got a line that uh, looks something like this, right? Yeah. And I think all I ask you to do is find the equation of the line using yep. your best estimates, right? Yep. So again, yep. you've got to use a little common sense to make an estimate. Uh, you don't need much on this one because you have to go right through the point, right? Yep. And we've done this, you know, we've done this in detail in class. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but you got the point four, negative three, and then you estimate the coordinate of this point, right? Well, it looks like it's pretty much halfway between negative six and negative three. On the y, x is negative five, so that would be negative five, and that would be negative four and a half or negative nine halves. Then you simply do the fundamental triangle and so forth, and let me just uh, do that quickly if I can find. I'm going to put my chalk here. Uh, okay, so I'll do a fundamental triangle here. And the rise is negative 3 minus 9 halves. I'm trying to see Well, that's negative 6 halves minus. Uh, and it's, it's I'm sorry, negative 3 minus <laughs> negative 9 halves. So it's negative six halves plus nine halves. Negative six halves plus nine halves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which of course is half distance there. This is three and that's half of it. Um, in this case, the picture won't always look like this. And then you got four minus negative five, which is nine. So the slope is Nine over negative three halves, and I got that wrong. So you incidentally did that. You kind of reversed your rise and run. Make sure you're careful about that. I, I saw a bunch of those. <laughs> so okay. when you do that, when you uh, multiply, multiply. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you multiply uh, the nine times the three, three halves, like one over. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll write it out. Negative three halves over nine, right? Yeah. Which means okay. That'd be one over six. Yeah. Negative one over six. It can't be negative. What's going on? The slope is positive, not negative. That, that, that's that, the rise is plus three halves. Okay. Yeah. Negative six halves plus nine halves is plus three halves, right? So it'd be positive one over six. So here's your slope. It's one six. Now you want to get your uh, the, the equation of your line. So you just plot another point. You can use slope-intercept form. Uh, I mean, uh, point-slope form or two-point form or whatever you want. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it the way I like to see it done because it has more meaning. Uh, you got the point x, y out here, so you have slope y minus negative 3 over x minus 4 from here to here, which is y plus 3 over x minus 4. So your equation, well, let's say y plus 3 over x minus 4. It's the same line, so the slope here has to be the same as the slope here. So the equation is y plus 3 over x minus 4 equals 1 sixth. Then I prefer you solve for y. Okay? So there's that problem. Now, if you don't have, you know, if this point doesn't happen to intercept the two lines, um, 
then you got to estimate just like you did in this one, right? Mm -hmm. And any reasonable estimate is okay. Now, for example, if you estimate the y coordinate here to be 17, there's a problem. <laughs> got to be between negative 6 and negative 3, right? <coughs> okay? Now, if you estimate it to be 17, you know, you just have a mental lapse and write down the wrong number, and do all the procedure correctly, then it won't penalize you too badly. Okay? So what do we say? What do we say is three halves, something like that?